Okay, so as I mentioned in the first video, this build is not a starter build. You really have to level up quite a ways before it becomes really becomes useful and powerful. I am now um, 59, almost 60. And as you can see, things are a lot better than they were when I first started out back in uh, the mid-30s or 40s when I made that first video. As you can see right now, I'm not doing anything. I'm not drinking any potions. I'm just running around and or I'm just standing still and letting stuff run into me and everything is dying. If I want to get a little, do a little extra more damage, I can um, I can use uh, Stormbrand here, and that will proc one of the uh, passes that we have, equal, um, Elemental Equilibrium, which I'll bring up in a second, which does uh, increase our damage. If I do start getting taking taking damage myself, then I do have lots and lots of potions here. And that's pretty much it, but let's just uh, wander around and see how Squirchy's doing right now. As you can see, he really nothing's hurting him, and he's hurting everything else. Here we go, I'm going to kill this a little bit faster, so I'm going to pop Stormbrand. Goes down a lot quicker. Yeah. So this really isn't, like I said, a starter build, but once you really get leveled up, I started using the uh, Righteous Fire at around uh, mid-30s, which was, eh, so-so, around 40. It was a lot more viable, it was actually killing stuff, and I wasn't dying every two seconds, and I wasn't having to drink, you know, I was able to just keep my health up by drinking my potions, and I was having to uh, manually keep up my endurance charges by doing uh, my war cry. Now I don't even have to worry about that. I just run around and everything is just melting away. Let's get over here somewhere safe for a second. I'll bring up the uh, skill tree and I'll show you what I was talking about with the uh, elemental equilibrium and some of the other things. Yeah, elemental equilibrium. What happens is when you hit something with an elemental spell, Whatever you hit with it is going to um, take get 25 more 25 percent more resistance to that element, but 50 percent less resistance to other elements. So since um, our storm brand is lightning, when I cast that, the second I cast it, whatever gets hit by it is going to take um, it's going to increase its uh, resistance to lightning. But that doesn't matter because we're not doing anything with lightning. Everything we're doing is fire. We don't have to worry about um, the uh, the righteous fire triggering elemental equilibrium because element uh, righteous fire doesn't actually hit things since it's an area of effect spell, which is also very handy. Now, one of the main reasons um, that I'm surviving a lot better now is I have two of my ascendancies. I've got unflinching, which is giving me major bonuses for my endurance charges, um, giving me max extra um, extra endurance charge, and a good chance that if I gain one, it's going to give me my full endurance charges instead of just one. And uh, unrelenting is giving me damage reduction and chaos re um, resistance and other elemental resistance, all based on how many endurance charges. Pretty much, this entire build is all about dealing with um, keeping my life up, rege life regeneration, uh, or doing damage that one there we go See, a lot of the stuff here is area of effect There's a lot of um a lot of pieces of this skill tree that go together but a lot of it really just comes down to keeping um keeping me alive and just doing damage <laughs> the endurance charges as you slowly gain those um let's see is that over here there was one down here i'm just about to get going here is another uh plus one endurance charges uh, 
that's my there's a plus one endurance charges so yeah at this point um, my maximum is seven so now that I'm almost 60 this build is really really rocking it's really just melting everything away Chaos Orb, cool. Okay, well, so that's pretty much it. That's where I'm at at level 60. I'll probably do another update, uh, <laughs> probably when I actually get to the end of the uh, campaign and start running maps. Or actually, what I might do is later on, I'll probably just uh, show how this looks doing Delvin, which is pretty awesome, So I just picked up some uh, sulfide a little earlier. Okay, so I'm going to close this, and we'll... <laughs>